The giant squid is one of the most magnificent creatures of our deep oceans. However, there is much that we still have to discover about this incredible and elusive animal. This is the world's largest invertebrate. The squid belongs to the class of cephalopods which have been around for 500 million years. For years, non-scientists wondered if the creature actually existed or was just a thing of legend. People became suspicious of the fact that only dead ones were being captured and some questioned if it was a hoax. Unfortunately, most of what we know about the giant squid has only come from dead carcasses that have washed up on beaches. The most common shores they wash up on are in New Zealand and the Pacific Islands. It is believed that giant squids live in every ocean, but it remains difficult to confirm this fact due to their elusive nature. As large as this animal is, it remains difficult to find because it lives so deep in the ocean about 1,500 to 3,500 feet below the surface of the sea. Scientists are unsure just how big these creatures are because it is hard to gain that from bloated or disintegrated dead carcasses when they wash ashore. However, the biggest giant squid to ever have been recorded was 43 feet long and most likely weighed up to a ton, but the two long feeding tentacles take up a big chunk of the body's length. The average size of giant squids is about 33 feet long and weighing in at around 440 pounds. A newer method for determining size is by the giant squid's beak, which is often left behind even after being eaten by a sperm whale. The same method is used to determine the size and age of colossal squid as well. Eight arms and two longer feeding tentacles help the giant squid to seize their prey and bring it to their mouths called beaks. This animal is capable of grabbing prey from far away with those two tentacles, which are also equipped with many sharp-toothed suckers. In June 2020, an almost fully intact giant squid washed up on the shore in South Africa. This one is estimated to be around 13 feet and 660 pounds which is actually on the smaller size for giant squids. What makes this find exciting is that this giant squid only recently died and had not yet started decomposing. The only thing missing was its beak, which scientists believe fell off once the muscles relaxed at the time of death. There is bound to be a lot to learn from the newest giant squid find, but unfortunately, the world will have to wait for the answers it offers up. Due to the current global restrictions due to the pandemic, the giant squid has been put on ice, both literally and figuratively, until restrictions ease and it can be examined in more detail by scientists. Scientists have not witnessed giant squids feeding, but they have been able to determine their diet by studying the stomachs of specimens that have washed up on the world's beaches. Giant squid are carnivores and tend to prey on smaller fish, shrimp, other squid, and possibly some whales. The mantle is the main part of the body containing all of the basic organs. Their beak, basically their mouth, is sharp and made for ripping flesh into bite-sized pieces. The beak is located in the middle of their arms. The giant squid, along with their cousin, the colossal squid, have the largest eyes in the entire animal kingdom. Their eyes measure about 12 inches in diameter about as large as a dinner plate or a human head. This begs the question that, if giant squid live so deep in the ocean where it is pitch black, why do they need such big eyes if there isn't much to see? For one, it helps them to see sperm whales, their only known predators from safe distances. Bioluminescence light is given off from small gelatinous animals when they are disturbed. A squid uses this light for survival purposes, like spotting the impending danger of a diving pilot whale. Another unique feature about the giant squid is that it has a rather complex brain with the esophagus traveling right through the donut hole. It is also known that giant squids also have three hearts and pump blue blood. Scientists are still learning the functions behind these unique features. 
This animal can roam the deep ocean thanks to its small fins, which help them maneuver themselves through water, and a funnel which is used as a jet propulsion system siphoning water through their mantle, which is their head, and quickly releasing it out the back. This allows them a quick escape when needed. The funnel also allows the giant squid to exhale, lay eggs, excrete waste, and squirt ink for an escape from predators. It is believed that the giant squid's lifespan is about five years. Statoliths, which are small mineralized masses that help the squid balance themselves, acquire growth rings like a tree and help researchers estimate the age. This suggests that they grow at an unbelievable rate, reaching up to 30 feet in a few years. In this fleeting lifespan, researchers believe that the giant squid only reproduces once. After the eggs have been fertilized by the male, the female releases the egg mass, endless amounts of tiny eggs covered in jelly, into the water. While many are eaten by predators, some survive and grow into the massive creatures that haunt the deep seas. There is only one known predator to the giant squid, and that is the sperm whale. Much like the colossal squid, beaks of giant squid have been found inside the carcasses of sperm whales. No evidence has been found of giant squid being eaten by other species, except for their own, that is. According to the National Geographic, Although the current population trend is unknown, the giant squid are not an endangered species or in fear of going extinct. In fact, their conservation status is listed at least concern, meaning that there are more than enough to last a long time. The mythological kraken was said to lurk at the bottom of the ocean, waiting for a ship to pass by to prey upon the sailors. The creature resembles either a giant squid or a colossal squid. It would reach up and sink the ship with its massive tentacles or create a whirlpool to destroy the ship. There is not much evidence to conclude the danger giant squid pose to humans. However, being a giant carnivore wild animal, one would assume that they could indeed pose a risk to humans. The lack of reports of giant squid attacks on humans is probably because they mainly live in the deep sea and therefore very rarely encounter humans. The giant squid that swim up to the surface are also usually sick and weakened individuals. Giant squid have the potential to be harmful to humans in multiple ways. Their beaks could do harm if they decided that you were a meal, but more than that, even their tentacles and suckers could cause harm if they came into contact with you just due to their force. While oceans cover about 70% of the Earth's surface, about 90% of our ocean is unmapped, unobserved, and unexplored. That leaves a lot of territory to explore and discover. In the small portion of the waters that have been explored, scientists have been able to discover approximately 1 million species living in them. One thing that I find amazing is that new species are continuously being found. If giant squids can evade researchers for centuries, what other mysterious and mesmerizing creatures lay waiting at the bottom of the ocean for our discovery? Only time can tell. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please share, and please comment below.